you know what it's like having to try to breathe? I can remember when I couldn't remember sleep for days and weeks. So my mind which hated me wouldn't leave. Michael Kimber was barely there, adapting to speak during rare moments of release when exercise gave me a couple hours of peace. Her breath and heart beat the only thing in the dark which could calm me. I screamed inside, this is not me, this is not me. I tried sleeping pills. Tracer don't make me mad, constipated, drowsy and sedated, faded mind. Have to take them at the same time, my doctor gave me a bedtime, which didn't help my bruised mind. Melatonin worked only if I took it by a certain time. Otherwise, I lied awake, calmly insane as time ticks. Hell of a little blue pill with a big kick. Worked one day, then didn't another, and I tried another and another and another because I love her. Wanted to live in heaven, I lived in hell, a broken shell. Until my mind was my enemy, pursuing me relentlessly until I knew what it was like to cling to life desperately. Wondering if this is all that you meant to be. The direction I was starting to step in, I was 25 and might not make it to 27. I had a secret chemical weapon, an angel without a halo ray to step in. I hated the idea of going on antidepressant. They told me what made special this specimen would lessen, but after a while you get sick of trying to breathe. My doctor recommended Remeron and I agreed. Scared of all the stories and that I would read that said you could meet prescribed peace with hate. Heart palpitate and fall into an even worse state. Get addicted to benzos which would sedate. Sexual misfunction, all possible stops on the road to zombie junction. Rest to you, Leisha. Getting off them might cause you a seizure. And after a while, you might always need them. But I'm not living right now and I have so much to live for. I jump off the cliff hoping that my land will actually live. And gradually, because I'm with someone much smarter than me, I learn this thing is just a part of me. A mystery connected to my family history. If someone this lovely could love me, I guess I can too. I gave this fear electric life by my constant hectic fight. There's no cure for life. And I go to sleep next to her every night. That for all this, I get to have this in my life. Thank you sincerely for everyone who listened to me when I cried out for help. You gave me back myself. Tonight I stand again and today I speak for myself. One in five suffer from mental illness. This is my story. Now speak for yourself. Thank you.